Hello, Damon Mercy Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at the metadata that's embedded inside these images. We're then going to use the EXIF tool combined with JXIF tool GUI to view and to manipulate and change that data. So fictitious scenario will be that we've got these images ready. We want to actually push them out to a website or deliver them somewhere, but we don't want to contain all of the details that are in the files by default. If you've taken your images on a phone, something like that, you may well find there's actually GPS coordinates or locations as to where the images were taken, which you may not actually want to uh, publicly disclose on the internet. Anyway, let's jump in. And for first of all, we'll install JXIF tool GUI, and then we'll uh, go through the files and have a look at what we can do. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need is EXIF tool installed on the machine. So, on my machine, I've actually got EXIF tool already installed. If I launch a command prompt and type EXIF tool, you can see EXIF tool already runs. What I'll do is leave a link up above here and at the end of the video is to another video on how you can install EXIF tool and set your machine up ready to be able to run the command directly from any command prompt location. So once that's done, we then need to go to the EXIF tool GUI website. Again, I'll leave a link to this in the description and go to the downloads. And then from here, we can download the version that's correct. I'm going to be downloading the version here that also contains Java. Um, so with Java, if you've already got Java installed on your machine, then you could download the version without Java. So let me uh, click here. download now it's downloaded I'll open the file and next thing we need to do if we go over to this PC then browse through to program files what I suggest to do then is actually copy the folder over to program files say continue what we can then do is uh, rename the folder just call this JXF tool GUI Continue. The next thing and last thing I'll do on here pin Windows 11 is to right click and actually uh, pin to the start menu. So as such now I can go to the start menu and type J F J X F tool. And you can see the app now appears. First time we're running this, we in Windows 11 we get Smart Protect, which I can then say run anyway. This will now run XF Tool GUI run. We'll see uh, in a moment we will uh, get the GUI. Okay, so it's not automatically located the XF uh, Tool location. In fact, it has. Um, which is what the warning was there. So this is now set up, installed. So what we'll do, I'm just going to close these and just tidy up the desktop a little bit. I'm just go back to the folder. So on my machine, I've got this original set of pictures. So the first thing we'll do is actually open this with JXIF tool again. So I'll just launch the GUI again. What we can do then is actually go up to file and we can load a directory. And we can browse the directory or alternatively, we can select the files and just drag them onto the uh, window here. And this will unload them straight in. So first of all, what we can see when I click on an image, we can see all of the actual metadata that's contained within that file. So this is good to actually view what you've got as present. So what I want to first of all do with this is remove all of the metadata. Now the quickest way to do this is by running a command. If I go into the directory here, I launch command prompt. I can then run EXIF tool and if I say all for all files and all metadata or sorry for all, meta, all metadata fields equals nothing and to affect every file this will actually strip every single bit of metadata from all the files and as it runs you can see it's updated for files by default EXIF tool creates a backup um, you can switch that off um, if you have a look at the instructions you'll be able to do that for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave that out. So we've now 
remove the metadata. Now I'm going to launch J Active Tool GUI again. I'm just point this again at these images. And now when I click on the images, you can see there is next to nothing, no metadata at all contained in them. And again, if I open these in Explorer, under Properties and Details, you can see they're again empty. So what I want to do next is just add some more for information. So I'm going to click on all four images. I'm going to say edit. I'm just going to put myself this copyright in here. And obviously we could embed much more information, description about each image's dates. And if I actually say save to the selected images, this is now actually updated them. I actually had a warning on a couple. I think if we go through and view these, we'll actually see they've all been updated. And we can see they now all contain copyright information of myself, along with the software we use to process them. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Um, you should have a link above to subscribe to the channel and also a suggested video, hopefully on some more XIF tool um, utilities and commands and how we can do stuff to manipulate metadata. Thank you for watching.